Hello and welcome. I'm back. So we are just going to talk a little bit about the chakras and we're going to do a little chakra healing and understanding your chakras. So we have Archangel Raphael that wants to be with us today to help us. Uh, give your cares and your worries to the angels. Allow the angels to take your burdens. And indigo and crystal children, Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. And then we have priority, prosperity. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your renewed, your renewed passion and manifesting your dreams into reality. And it's all about teaching and learning. Archangel Zadical. Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas to others. And then we have Archangel Michael. You are a powerful and loving, creative child of God. You are very loved. We're going to keep them out. And my kitty, she's going to get fixed today if we can get into the vet. So you are a, remember who you are, as above, so below. So start a healthy lifestyle as well. So if your root chakra is blocked or uh, unbalanced, um, this, is what, um, this is what it is. It's located on your base, right there, where the mark is. And it's a red chakra. It's your physical identity to have stability and feel grounded. That's the meaning. Sorry about that. I had to go get something to put over my shoulders. I got chilly. So the root is a blocked root chakra can manifest as a physical issue like arthritis, uh, conception, and bladder or colon problems or even emotionally through feeling insecure about your finances or uh, base need, basic needs and well-being when it is un in balance it is when it is aligned it is open we will feel grounded secure both physically and emotionally Is that clear? I have a hard time seeing if it is clear or not. So that is uh, very important to feel balanced. <clears throat> and then we have the sacral chakra. It is uh, located below your belly button, just above your uh, pelvis bone. It is orange. It's about your sexual uh, pleasure and and creativity and creativity. So it is says a uh, sacral issue with the chakra can be seen via problem with the uh, associate associated with organs like the urinary tract infection lower back pain uh empathy uh emotionally uh, and emotional and uh chakra is connected to our Feelings of self-worth and even more specific are self-worth around pleasure and sexual gra uh, creativity. And then we have the solar plex. That is like our uh, serotonin, our happiness. You know, that's our, you know, that makes us feel happy. The upper abdominal in the stomach area. The yellow chakra, it is self-esteem and confidence. It is, uh, so it says, say a solar, solar plex blockage in the third chakra are often experienced through a uh, diagnostic of issues of, of unclear, like unclear heartburn or eating disorder. And indigestion it is a chakra of our 
personal power. That means that it is related to our self-esteem and our self-confidence. And see how I put that right on the on this crystal? That's a charging crystal. It charges the other ones. So, and then we have the heart chakra. It is obviously your heart and, and is the center of your chest about the heart in the area. It's called the heart, heart center and yoga class. It is green. It is about love and compassion. And when our heart chakra is blocked, it can manifest in a physical health through heart problems, eczema, and uh, weight issues. Uh, blocks are often even more clearly through people's actions. People with heart chakra pro blocked blockages often put others first to their own interm interm intermit. It is the middle of the seven chakras and it is the bridge gap between our upper and lower chakras and it is also uh, represents our ability to love and connect to others. When, our, when they are aligned, it can make us feel lonely uh, when they are un in a unaligned. It can make us feel lonely, insecure, or isolated. See, the heart is the one that connects them all. And, you know, Geminis are the heart chakra. We are the lovers, right? So we are the ones that pull all the people together. You know what I mean? All the different chakras and help everyone. I don't know why I said that. But here we got the throat chakra, blue and it's communication, also air energy. Um, as as one of our, as one would expect, the chakra connected with our ability to communicate verbally, voice, throat, and problems as well, and problems with everything surrounding the area, such as teeth, gums, and mouth that can indicate blockages. Blockages of mis misalignment can also be seen through a dominating conversations or gossiping, speaking without thinking, and having trouble speaking your mind. When, uh, when in a line, you will speak and listen with compassion and feel Confident when you speak because you know that you are being truth to yourself and to the words that you speak. And doing these daily meditations that it shows you on the card for, you know, uh, you know, for like seven minutes to ten minutes can be very helpful to you too. Because I say seven because there's seven chakras. So a minute each. Each one gave each one a minute at least. So the third eye chakra is between the eyes and the head. Which is why also as the brow. And it's indigo. And intuition of imagination. So the third eye is a sense of chakra is a physically located on the head. Blockages can manifest as headaches, issues with sight of concentration or hearing problems. People who have third eye uh, problems listening to real listening to reality, who seem to know it all. And or who are not in touch with their intu intuition may also have blockages when um, when they are open in in an alignment it is through that that people will follow their intuition and be able to see the bigger picture
And then we have the crown chakra, which is uh, located on the top of her head. That's the little soft spot that uh, every baby has. Uh, the very top of your head, it is violet. It is the answer in your line, your alliance. The, no, that is your awareness in your alliance. Your awareness of your higher knowing. Your crown chakra is the chakra uh, that linked to everything to every other chakra and therefore every uh, every organ in the system can so be affected not just of all of these organs but also our brain and our nervous system it is also considered to be the chakra of alignment of res of representing our connection to our own life and per life purpose and spirituality. Shoes, uh, those with a blocked crown chakra may seem narrow-minded and skeptical or stubborn. When the chakra is open, it is through the, to that, that helps all of the other chakras to open and it brings the person a blissful alignment. I hope you guys like these messages and I think that I hope that it helps your chakras guys. Let me know and don't forget to subscribe and God bless y'all. And if you already are a subscriber, thank you for being here always and allowing me to read energy for all of you guys and give you some guidance. God bless.